here. Here we are coming to ride in Cuyahoga Heights at the OECR Trail, Ohio Erie Canal Reservation, I believe is what that stands for, but I've been wrong before. The protagonist of our story, my commissar Meta AM, 2016 Origin Rock Shocks. And, uh, well, I've been having a blast on her so far. So at this point, I'm starting to think I probably should have raised my seat before coming back in here. But, uh, you know, live and you learn. I've been fiddling with my suspension since I bought this bike, trying to find the right settings, and uh, I find that every time I finish riding, I think I've found the settings, every time I come back, I realize I haven't. Which kind of felt like the case again there, going down that one small <laughs> rocky chute that I managed to mess up. That GoPro is going to come off after just one run because uh, it's just too awkward where it's at. It's too heavy. It's got some good little punchies. Both ups and downs. That's what's really nice about this unusually punchy trail for Northeast Ohio. But everything else is gradual. All right. So if you're not careful here, you can go over. And you know, I mean, if you're not careful here, oh man, this is too live. You can go over. I'm sure a good rider would be killing it on this suspension setup right now, but it's killing me. Carrying speed's not the problem. I can do easily. I'm gonna turn up the compression one click. See if that changes anything here. All right, let's get up this hill. No fun, no fun. All right. But I didn't shift at that time. It drips so much speed, and you really want to have speed coming into this part. Shooting back across the same hill. Just a little further down. If you carry speed through here, then you're coming in hot to the best section on this course. But uh, as always, don't ride full speed ahead if you don't actually know the trail. So, Just be careful out there. This suspension is live right now. Oh my. It's, it's a little bit more set up for a, a, a park than the single track. I think I just slipped a chain because I tried to pedal there and almost fell over the bars. <laughs> I don't know how I held on. I don't know how I held on. <laughs> that chain. <laughs> I, I went to throw all my weight down onto the pedal and there was no resistance. Well, <sighs> always be in control. <sighs> I think I was just saying something about if you don't know it perfectly, don't mess with it. Because that snake about killed me. <sighs> and I knew it was coming. Well, chicane or whatever you want to call it. All right. I think I'm gonna put pussyfoot this one. 
don't really want to hit that outside line right now. That chipmunk wanted me to kill it. Oh man. And back to the punishment. Why oh why didn't I get a hardtail 29er? What was I thinking? I'm out of my mind. Oh. Alright. Oh, that was not as good as I was See, it's a lot easier to ride this if you just don't hit your brakes. I don't hit my brakes. And everything gets real squirrely. I don't like squirrely. At least not here. Not when I'm surrounded by trees. Interestingly enough, I also don't like squirrely on a road where you're surrounded by cars. Did not hold that the best I could. I think I might have to release a little bit of the pressure in my fork. I think that might be what's going on here. Because I set it up a bit stiff. And then I messed with the other settings. And now it's a bit stiff. Not a great turn there. Is there any redemption? No, not on this climb. Uh, I gained no redemption on that. Uh, uh. How the hell was I riding this the other day with the suspension set up like this? I was a lunatic. Anyway. I'm about to go back to my car now and uh, see what can't be uh, fiddled with. That was a pretty terrible first vlog, vlog, whatever, but uh, I guess it'll have to do. And if it doesn't have to do, then I'll come back another day with a better setup for this camera because it's kind of annoying. So that's pretty much that. I mean, I skipped the quote unquote beginner loop of this trail, but really, I mean, I've never been a good mountain biker and it's never seemed challenging or worth it. It's really just to put pedal strokes in as far as I'm concerned, which I'll pass on because I'm lazy. So, anyways, so, I mean, I feel like this has to be tick territory now. I already got one this year. So, especially if you're on the east, it's imperative to check for ticks when you're done riding anywhere, but especially if there's open grass like this if you're in the west I mean I'd still check you know they're parasites but I don't know I guess there's no one out here because if there was they would have caught up to me a long time ago off to the right is a beginner loop 
or whatever it's called. And we're back at the beginning and I'm heading back to Daskar.